Serverless technologies present a unique observability challenge due to the complete abstraction of the host. Today we're going to take a look at how Instana tackles this challenge through our proprietary auto trace technology. The first thing we need to do is install an Instana agent in AWS mode, effectively configuring it to pull CloudWatch for any assets, metrics, or tags that we can find related to your AWS account. This is facilitated by an EC2 instance running in your account with the following IAM permissions. While the AWS agent will populate information on a variety of AWS services, today we're obviously focused purely on Lambda. Once configured, the AWS agent will pull all of the Lambda configuration details, such as the ARN, description, runtime, handler, and region. This results in our backend cataloging the details of the new Lambda entity as a component of our dynamic graph. It also has the secondary function of populating all of the metrics exposed by CloudWatch, so we ensure the telemetry data pertaining to your Lambda's execution is here whenever you need it. But metrics are only one piece of the puzzle. What's really key to understanding these serverless components is tracing, as tracing gives you a much deeper level of insight than just metrics alone, giving you robust analytical capabilities to assist in debugging and optimization of these serverless components. To fill this gap, Instana provides simple to deploy functionality, leveraging our proprietary auto trace technology. Setting this functionality up as a snap requires no code modifications whatsoever, nor does it carry a reliance on AWS X-Ray. Simply log into your AWS console, open the configuration page for your Lambda function, and then click add layer. Next, select Provide a Layer Version ARN and paste the ARN for your AWS region into the field. The list of Instana Lambda Layer ARNs is available per runtime. Simply select the appropriate layer for your region and runtime. Now we need to configure the Lambda Handler. The handler you'll use will vary based on Node.js or Python, so make sure to use the correct handler for your language. If you're using a custom handler value, make sure you specify that value in the environment variable Lambda Handler to notify the Instana Lambda Layer. Speaking of environment variables, you can see the Lambda Handler variable here, but also the Instana Endpoint URL and Instana Agent Key. These are vital environment variables to set, as they dictate where the traces report to upon completion and denotes your Instana license. And finally, we're going to save the changes we've made to our Lambda. With the AWS agent installed and the layer now configured, Instana can take care of the rest automatically tracking those golden KPIs and autonomously mapping all dependencies from the services and the endpoints with our industry-leading application perspective system. And when paired with unbounded analytics, which allows you to use simple drop-down filters to rapidly dive into individual requests, you can very simply understand exactly what services were touched and even what infrastructure was utilized to process this request. And to top it off, our best in breed EUM will help you ensure optimal user experiences by tracking statistics from the browser side with a simple piece of JavaScript injected into your HTML documents head tag. But when backed up by our no sample tracing approach, it has the capacity to correlate those front end user transactions to their relevant back end trace and get you there with a simple push of a button. All of this, from our one second metric collection to our no sample traces, and even EUM, is available within Stana's simple, transparent pricing, with one license giving you the capacity to monitor up to 10 lambdas. So check out www.instana.com to book a demo with one of our APM experts or download a self-service trial today.